Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Today, I'm gonna to be covering a grocery list application called Grocery. The unique selling point for Grocery is the ability to present lists to you dependent on the store that you're visiting, as well as being built on top of Apple Reminders, which means that adding items to your grocery list is reliable. Now for a tip video, this is quite a detailed application, so let's get straight to it. Grocery is available on both iOS and iPadOS. It's free, but there is a subscription element if you want to enable certain features, and this is £7.49 per year. Now for the purposes of this screencast, I've purchased this so that you can see the full feature set that Grocery has to offer. Now I'm gonna open the application here and we're brought straight away to the main screen. Now Grocery allows you to add lists for different stores and assign certain items to those stores. We're viewing the default store at the moment, which is called My Store. And to add an item, I just need to tap on the Add Item button at the bottom. Tapping this allows you to enter the name of the item in the top field, and then below that you can enter the kind, you can enter an amount, perhaps even a note, or even all three if you wish. I'm going to add eggs, and let's say I want six of those. I tap the yellow circle to complete, and I'll enter another. This time let's go for chocolate. And as you type, recent entries or suggestions may be displayed, and you can turn this feature off within the settings for the app. Now I'll specify a type this time, just in case someone else picks up this list. So I'm quite like dairy milk, I'll enter that. And once more, tap the arrow to add. And let's have one more, let's go for a milk. And I'd like one pint of skimmed. There. Now when that's complete, I'll tap done, and those items are added to my list. Now, before recording this screencast, I'd already checked off milk whilst practicing within the app. I tell you this because Grocery has remembered that I purchased milk in my store and has therefore sorted it automatically into that store by using a feature called Smart Sorting. Now, I've never added chocolate or eggs before to Grocery, so they're currently sitting in a group called Unsorted. To add them as items that I want to pick up in this fictional My Store, I'll tap the arrows on the right and they will be added and you can move items up and down the list by dragging on the drag handles. Smart sorting will also remember the order that you tick the items off when you're in a store. So if you take a certain path around the store and check off, I don't know, dry goods first, then chilled, then frozen, smart sorting will automatically sort the items in this list in that order, which is really good. You can check off items in two ways. First, tap the check circle. Alternatively, you can swipe across to the right and mark it off that way. There's also a great Apple Watch application for this. For those times when perhaps you're pushing a trolley and you don't really want to have your phone out, you can simply tap your wrist and mark the items as purchased. Let's take a look at how to add some new stores. Now, there are a few ways to do this. By far the simplest is to tap on My Store and from the resulting pop-up, select Edit Stores and Lists. Now, at the top, we can toggle whether or not Grocery will use geofencing to detect when we arrive at a store and activate that store automatically. Now, I definitely always have this enabled. And now I'm just going to tap Create New Store. There's lots of detail here that we can enter. So first we need a name. Now my local supermarket is called Tesco, so I'll enter that and tap the tick. We can then choose a reminders list that's associated with this store. Now if you have items that you generally purchase in multiple stores, dependent on which one you're passing at the time, then I'd recommend using the same list for all of those. If you have specialist items that you can only get in one particular store, like a fishing tackle shop, for example, then you'd be better off using a different reminders list as the backbone for that individual store, because you don't need to see those items when you're at a local grocery store. I'll just tap back here. Now, as you use the app, Grocery will track your purchase history for the individual stores. As I've just created this one, it's at zero. And if you're currently at the store, like physically located there, tapping Create Geofence here will tell Grocery the GPS coordinates for the store. And if you want to have a notification popping up telling you that you've arrived and that you've got stuff to buy, you can enable the arrival notification. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month 
and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.